evaluate the function for negative 1. So if we figured out my function, if I want to evaluate for negative 1, again, let's say I don't know how to simplify this, right? Here is, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know, how, so I need to simplify f minus k of negative 1. Well, I already know what f minus k of x is, right? So could I just plug in negative 1 here? Are we OK? Negative 1 minus 3, you owe me a dollar. You borrow three more, you owe me $4. You owe me $1, you borrow $2, you owe me $3. So now, the question I'm asking you, minus the negative, you can put the negative in front, double negative turns into a positive. So now we're just doing a number problem, negative 4 plus 1 third. So again, it's really the same thing I taught over here. It's just that one was confusing because I had numbers and it was algebra. This is just fraction operations. Again, same thing. Get your integer to be a, a fraction. Get a common denominator. Now, could I also have plugged in negative uh, 1 in here and get the same answer? Probably gets turned into a absolutely. So yeah, you could also just plug in. If you decided, if you did the math first, Let's see, that turns into a positive 1. That turns into a positive 5. Positive 5. That's a negative 3. So 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So it's 11 over negative thirds. Right? Because wouldn't you guys agree that a negative 11 thirds is the same thing as 11 over negative 3? All right? Don't forget that. <coughs> so yeah, so when you are evaluating, which I'm going to ask you to do, you can evaluate 